Chinese Foreign Minister Qin Gang has called for efforts to take China-U.S. relations back to the right track during a meeting with U.S. Ambassador to China Nicholas Burns. Now, Chin says China-U.S. relations are not only significant to the two countries, but also for the world. He says the primary task is to avoid a downward spiral in ties, which is the most basic consensus that should be reached by the two sides. Chin also urged the U.S. to respect China's bottom line and stop harming China's sovereignty, especially on the Taiwan question. He says China welcomes Ambassador Burns to become a bridge between the two countries and make more constructive efforts. And earlier we talked to political and economic affairs commentator Einar Tangen. He shared his takes on the factors affecting the trend of China-U.S. relations. There's a number of factors. Uh, the first and foremost is this idea that uh, the U.S. wants to push as far as it possibly can uh, as it tries to put, uh, create this containment policy out there. But of course, you know, you, you, you can't be aggressive against a country and expect it to uh, do nothing. Uh, the second part is that uh, there, are, without clear policies, uh, a lot of the foreign policy is being run by domestic considerations, especially uh, with elections coming up. And, and there's another issue in terms of the trajectory of the two countries. The U.S. continues to go down, uh, and I mean in the sense that they have crisis right now with the debt. Uh, there's divisions here on a daily basis about um, you know, mass killings and things like that, whereas China continues to go economically up and is um, still uh, doing very, very well. With